Well, the Maumee River is looking a little green after an algal bloom has settled in from Promenade Park to Cullen Park in Point Place. As a result, the health department issuing a recreational public health advisory telling folks and pets to avoid contact with the water. 13 ABC's Amy Montgomery takes us to the banks of the Maumee with more. Amy. Diane Lee, if you've been down along the river lately, it's really hard to miss. Those rocks are actually uh, stained from that algal bloom. Typically we do see this in the lake. So what is it doing all the way out on the river? Well, we went out on the water to find out. At first glance, it may look like a normal day on the mighty Maumee, but a closer look shows the ugly reality. I'm just glad that when we go out on a cruise that people are looking up and out at how beautiful Toledo is rather than down and, and in and seeing how bad our river is. Murky paint-like algae covers the shoreline of the river. Thursday, conditions prompted the Toledo Lucas County Health Department to issue an advisory warning people and pets to avoid contact with the water, especially children, people with health conditions, and pregnant and nursing moms. Whenever you have light winds, the right conditions with a lot of phosphorus and nitrogen, then you're going to get the harmful algal bloom with the cytobacteria. Charter boat captain Paul Pachalski says the recent weather is just fueling the fire, adding that it's no surprise the river looks the way it does. 47% of all the phosphorus that comes into Lake Erie comes through this river. The problem starts at Promenade Park and stretches to Cullen Park in Point Place. The thick, bright green film has been washing up on the shore for days. This is terrible here. It may not be enough to keep this couple off of the water, but the bloom is unwelcome and discouraging. Where are you going to take your kids swimming? Where are you going to go swimming? You used to do it all the time out here. It's, it's a thing of the past. Tom Ball couldn't believe what the algae left behind. Yeah, it was a shock, and if you notice my boat, the trailer is just pure green. Work to curb the problem is underway, and at this point, everyone can agree it's vital. But to have the algae here out on the lake, it just it's just a bad part for us. Coming up this weekend, the Frogtown Regatta is scheduled right on the Maumee River. We did speak with the executive director, and she tells us that she is aware of this advisory. But right now, they don't need to make any changes to the schedule. She says they are going to watch this very closely and, of course, make adjustments as needed. Meantime, tests are being done on that bloom in the river. The health department expects to have some of that information tomorrow. Reporting live tonight, I'm Amy Montgomery. Now back to you. Amy, thank you. It's important to note that the city says your drinking water is still safe to drink. Here's a live check of the Toledo Water Quality Dashboard, still in the clear status, so again, the water's safe to drink. Now, that's the good news. Fact is, as we've seen, we're still in the midst of algae season. So just how big is the current bloom? What causes it to funnel down into the river? And we check with Chief Meteor.